I'm going to show you how to place a photo on top of a video so that you can talk about the photo and show it at the same time in two different ways. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Here is my new profile picture for Facebook and Twitter. It was taken on New Year's Eve. Method 1. Blur the video track and place the photo over top in the center of the screen. That was the effect you just saw. To do this, I need to add a second video clip that contains the audio, which describes the photo I'm going to show. I'll select my clip and add it to the project. Once the clip loads, I need to play the clip to make sure it's been positioned correctly. Here is my new profile picture for Facebook and Twitter. It was taken on New Year's Eve which is last night, at the time this video is being recorded. The first thing I have to do is place an effect over top of the video track to blur it out, so I can place the photo over top. To use this method, you'll either need to purchase a pro version of the InShot app, or purchase the blur filter individually. For those of you on the free version, don't worry, stick around to the end of the video, and the second method will help you out. Position the playhead over top of the clip you want to add an effect to. Tap the Filters button and then choose Effects, and swipe over and choose the Blur effect. Because this is a video, I have to adjust the duration of the blur. I only want to blur out my second clip, so I'll choose Clip Beginning and Clip End when I tap on the beginning and end of the blur effect. I want the effect to last until the end of the second clip. Tap on the beginning or end of the purple bar. I'll tap the check mark once I'm done. The next step is to add the photo that I want to show over top of this clip. I'll tap on stickers, tap the photo icon, then select from camera roll and select the photo. It's not possible to add one video track on top of another video track. You can only do this with photos. This is the photo that I want to show. You can resize the photo by pinching or zooming. I want to place the photo in the center of the screen. Because this photo is a sticker, I'll have to set the duration. I'll tap on either end of the yellow bar, and I want to choose Clip Beginning and Clip End. But I accidentally chose Video Beginning. So the sticker was added back at the beginning of the entire video. Tap on sticker once more, choose from camera roll, and then add the correct photo. Each time you add a new photo, you'll have to reset the duration that you want the photo to appear on screen. I'll set the duration once more, and I'll tap on the check mark once I'm done. Tap the share icon and then tap save to save the video. I'm going to show you how to place a photo on top of a video so that you can talk about the photo and show it at the same time in two different ways. Here is my new profile picture for Facebook and Twitter. It was taken on New Year's Eve, which is last night. Method number two, place the photo on screen while your video plays. Here is my new profile picture for Facebook and Twitter. It was taken on New Year's Eve. If you're using the free version of InShot and don't want to pay for it, this method will work for you because you can use your own photos as stickers. Tap on stickers, choose from camera roll, select the photo that you want to place on screen. Resize and position the photo by pinching and zooming and dragging the photo to where you want it. I'm going to put it right beside my head so you can see it as I describe it and the video track plays. I have to set the duration as it's playing on top of a video. Because there's only one clip in the project at this time, I can set the duration by selecting video end and video beginning since I want the photo to appear for the duration of the whole clip. You don't have to do these steps in any specific order. If you make a mistake and forget to do something, you can always go back and correct it later. I set the duration, but I forgot to move the photo to the right hand side of the screen. So I'll just 
tap on the photo and drag it over, resize it to fit. And there you go. I'll tap on the check mark once I'm done. As I said before, it is not possible to put one video track on top of another. Here is my new profile picture for Facebook and Twitter. It was taken on New Year's Eve. Don't forget to tap the share icon and tap save to save the video so you can use it in your project.